Hi friends, welcome to this video guide on part two of careers in pure sciences domain. In this video, I am going to talk about pure science courses offered by popular institutes, IITs, NITs, CIPETs, AISH, NDRI, ISI, and CMI, as well as the career opportunities available. Please refer to part one of this title video to know about the courses and the career prospects to IASC, IASCR, IAST, and NICER. My name is Nagaraj Katil, a hobbyist career guide. I come with engineering background over 20 years in chip design and software industries. First one in this video is about the pure science courses at IITs and NITs. Do you know that IITs and NITs offer integrated MSc courses in pure sciences? Yes, you can get admission to these programs based on your JWE main exam scores. The top of this list is IIT Kharagpur, which offers integrated MSc in applied geology, chemistry, mass, geophysics, maths and computing, as well as physics. You can pursue an integrated MSc in physics and biological sciences at IIT Madras. The integrated MSc in applied maths, chemistry and physics is offered by IIT Roorkee. NIT Agartala, NIT Durgapur, NIT Patna, NIT Roorkela, and NIT Surat also offer integrated MSc programs in pure sciences such as physics, chemistry, maths, and life sciences. Considering the best lab facilities available in these institutes and their access to industries, IITs and NITs are some of the best places to study pure science courses in India. CIPET is next in a long line of prestigious science institutions in India. Do you know about CIPET? CIPET, previously known as Central Institute of Plastics Engineering and Technology, it has been renamed as the Central Institute of Petrochemicals Engineering and Technology. CIPET is a premier academic institution under the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, Government of India. It is dedicated to all aspects of plastics, including design, CAD, CAM, tooling, mold manufacturing, production engineering, testing, and quality assurance. CIPET operates from several locations throughout the country with IPT, Institute of Petrochemicals Technology, having eight centers in India. There are three SAC, that is School for Advanced Research in Petrochemicals. One is in Bangalore. There are 23 Center for Skilling and Technical Support, CSTS centers, one in Mysore. These institutes provide courses ranging from MTech in Plastic Engineering to MSc in Polymer Science. Admission process for these courses is as per the eligibility criteria and entrance tests from the respective state universities. In addition, these institutes provide diploma and postgraduate diploma programs in plastic technology, processing and testing. Coming to the admission and entrance examinations, admission to these diploma courses are through CIPET JEE. It is an online exam with physics, chemistry, and math as the core subjects, and its duration is one hour. What about careers? Placement is almost 100%. You can go to the website of these institutions and you can see that they are hired everywhere. Any industry you take, whether it is in the electrical, electronics, automobile, packaging, machine manufacturing, or petrochemical industry, Everyone requires qualified diplomas and graduates from these colleges. As a result, plenty of opportunities available for CIPET graduates. Now, I would like to introduce another science institute, the All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, AISH at Mysore. AISH is an autonomous institute entirely sponsored by the Government of India, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. 
The Institute's goals are to provide professional training, provide services, conduct research, and educate the public about communication problems such as hearing loss, mental retardation, voice, fluency, and phonological and linguistic abnormalities. If this is something interests you, then AISH is the path to take further. Let us see the kind of courses available at AISH. AISH offers diploma, bachelor's, PG diploma, PhD, and postdoctoral programs. Diploma one year course on hearing aid and ear mold technology is available. To this course, 12th physics with the minimum 50% or diploma in ENC can also apply. The next diploma course is early childhood special education to which 12th any cluster students can apply. Next one is hearing language and speech. This one is held in quasi online mode. 12th PCMB cluster students are eligible. All these individuals must go through a screening process that includes an AIOAT exam and interview. AIOAT, All India Online Aptitude Test, is an all India level online test consisting of multiple choice questions in English, reasoning, numerical ability, and general awareness. Each part consists of 25 questions. There is no negative mark. AISH offers bachelor degree program, BASIP, bachelors in audiology and speech language pathology, a four-year study for which 12th PCM and PCB students are qualified. Those with minimum 50% from the general category and 45% from the reservation category can apply. There is, of course, an admission test followed by interview process for the selection. The entrance exam lasts 2.5 hours and it is worth of 150 marks in physics, chemistry, maths, or biology. Aish also provides an BA in uh, special education, which is a two year program for students who have completed 12th grade in any cluster. There is also a one year PG diploma course for those with bachelor's degree or a BSc education in special education. Specializations available are augmentative and alternative communication, clinical linguistics for SLP called PGDCLP, forensic speech sciences and technology, neuroaudiology, PGDNA, and verbal therapy. AISH offers MSc two years in audiology and speech language pathology, to which BSc, ed, that is BSc education in special education or hearing are eligible. But admission is through an entrance exam. AISH also offers MED in special education for hearing impaired students. It is a very special and interesting field and with a lot of career opportunities only if you are interested in helping those special children. That was about AISH, the All India Institute of Speech and Hearing.